guys at iPod Case Reviews and this will be the jailbreak for the iPod Touch second generation. It's This is the untethered version so you can restart your iPod right now. It's just been rele released lately so this should show you my volume rockers right here. Yeah, this is a full. I just restored it using uh, firmware, the 2.2.1. I recently used the tethered jailbreak. Uh, so the program we're gonna use is called. See if we can see that. It is called Quick Freedom. So let's start the jailbreak right now. So that's jailbreak, and you will need lib USB installer. You can install it right here and the original 2.2.1 firmware. If you already had it from the Tedward version, you wouldn't have it because it automatically finds it for you, so that's nice. But if you don't, but if you don't, it's, if this is your first time, you can download it. So you meet all the requirements. Press next to continue. Next. All right. So now it says. To create your custom firmware, select if you want to include installer. Use boot logo and then use a custom boot logo and then press create firmware. Today we're, I'm not gonna use the custom boot logo because I heard there's like you have to do a lot of stuff. So let's mm, do it. Create firmware and to create your custom firmware, select. If you want to include installer, use the. All right, we're reading this. This process may take five to ten minutes to complete, so let's wait. I'm in. Two, no, no, that's one percent. Uh, so I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, let's see. It is ninety-nine percent complete, so it's almost complete. But before the initial completion. I just want to give a thanks to the dev, the dev team, um, especially Muscle Nerd and them, for releasing this untethered version. And also, all props to Dan Cool 999 for making this GUI, the graphical user interface named Quick Freedom. So, let's get on. It's patching right now. Bang. And let's wait. You missed. Oh, the Alright, this might take a while. Uh oh, also whoever's subscribed to me watching my case reviews, I'm also receiving Oh, alright. I I I'll complete that later. Your, if you can see, it says your IPSW has been completed and patched successfully. So press OK. And now press next. Alright. It says put into D, put into DFU mode and press start pre jailbreak. So let's take this one for jailbreaking. What you want to do is put on, yeah. All right, I, I gotta get my headphones on so I can see it. Just watch this lovely screen right here. All right, I'll put my headphones on. Well, you guys will hear beeps, but you won't because I got it. My head, these speakers don't work apparently, so let's go. Uh, what you want to do is take your iPod. Okay. Is take your iPod. Touch. All right. Press the um power um the sleep wake button and the home button for 10 seconds, and then you're gonna release the sleep wake button, and then keep holding the home button for another 10 seconds. You will hear chirps for indicating that you did it correctly. So. Go. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. I did hear a beep. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, that's thirteen. All right, it is in DFU mode, as you may think. It is bricked, but it is not. So, let's get started with this jailbreaking process. All right, your, your iTunes will pop up saying that iTunes has detected an iPod recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before it can be used. Just ignore that, press OK. Now go back to Quick Freedom. And over here, it will say Start Pre-Jailbreak. So click that. And it's starting pre jailbreak, and your screen should be white. If you edit, you're screwed. So you must have did something wrong, but I think I didn't. So let's just white watch the white screen. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? All right, I heard a click. iTunes had detected it, and you must restore this iPod before it can be used with iTunes. Alright, the iPod is placed into recovering mode, yeah, you guys, having a white screen is so nice, you think, and you're going to go to heaven, always. Oh my god, I'll tell you when this is done, I don't like waiting. Alright. We're back. Alright guys, it's done. Well, this is my second try time trying because it took 20 minutes and it still stayed white screen. But the, and then it just restarted. So I did all the process over again. And it, it, it took about nearly one minute. Well, not even one minute. So if you're having trouble, probably it's, it's just gonna um, reboot. So just be patient. So now, after you connect your drive pod into DFU mode, start pre-jailbreak, um, pre please wait. iPod place into recovery mode, applying patch, applying rest no patch, please wait. Successfully put in jailbreak mode. So what you want to do is, wait, yeah, restore button. You want to hit shift while clicking this, hold shift and click. And then you can choose your directory. They actually say that they installed it on your desktop. So if you didn't read that and you're dumb, eh, not my fault. All right, so custom firmware, oh, it's out of line. Custom firmware is right here. So I click and it should be restored. So let's just give this uh, another 30 seconds. I know it won't finish between those time, so I will stop. But let's give it this after extracting software is done. So, yeah. All right, now it's preparing for start. Uh, iPod to restore. So, just do it. All right, be back. Alright uh, guys, so it just finished and I am setting up my iPod right now. It just finished and it came nicely. CD installer. So let's test this out if this is really the untethered version. So let's begin. Alright. Oh no. <laughs> Alright. Turning off. Don't you like that purple chair, don't you? I'm joking. Look at those reflecting lights. Alright. Turn back on. Wait, wait, yeah, sorry. Uh -huh, yeah, I was pressing my button. So it's turning back on. 
Look into the light. Alright. <laughs> and there you go. Still sitting in the star. So thank you the dev team for making the untethered um the untethered jailbreak and thank you mm, I forget Danny or David for making the GUI the graphical user interface so thanks again and see you later